In this example, we are given a beam cross-section which is subjected to an internal shear force, V, of 50 kN, and we are asked to determine the shear flow at A, which is the web flange interface of this beam cross-section, which is over here. And we are also asked to determine the allowable maximum nail spacing, S, if each nail has a shear strength of 10 kN. We'll recall from the lesson that the formula for shear flow, which is represented by lowercase q, is VQ over I. We will also recall a formula which states that lowercase q, the shear flow, is equal to the shear strength of a nail divided by the nail spacing S. Starting with the shear force V, As we recall from the question in the example, V has been given to be 50 kN, therefore V equals 50 kN. Now we'll move on to calculating the moment of inertia I. To calculate the moment of inertia I, we will first need to determine the central location of this beam cross-section, which is also the location of the neutral axis, and we will call this Y bar. Upon observation, we can see that this beam cross-section can be divided into two components, and they are 1 and 2. Since this beam cross-section has been divided into two parts, we can write the formula for y-bar, which will be and substituting the corresponding dimensions into this equation, we will have Computing this, y bar will give us 51 millimeters. We can now move on to calculating i, and we'll be using the formula i is equal to the sum of 1 over 12 bh cube plus ad square. And since this beam cross section has been divided into two components, we can rewrite this equation as. Substituting dimensions into this equation, we'll have 10 to the power of 7 millimeters to the power of 4. Now we will move on to calculate Q. We remember the formula for Q is Y bar prime A prime. And since we're asked to calculate the shear flow at A, which is the web flange interface, to calculate Q, we'll consider the area either above or below A. Calculating Q, considering the area above A, which we'll call Q above, the Y bar prime that we'll use to calculate Q above will be the distance between the centroid location of the area above A and the centroid location of the entire beam cross-section. And that is 51 minus 15. And A prime is the area of the section above A, and that is 130 times 30. And computing this, Q above will give us 140,400 millimeters cubed. Calculating Q considering the area below A, which we'll call Q below. 
The white bar point that we'll use to calculate Q below will be the distance between the central location of the section below A and the central location of the entire beam cross section. And that will be 90 minus 51. And A prime will be the area of the section below A and that will be 120 times 30. Calculating this, Q below will give us 140,400 millimeters cube. Therefore, Q is 140,400 millimeters cube. Remembering the formula that we stated at the beginning of this example, which is shear flow lowercase q is equal to VQ over I. Substituting the properties of this beam cross section that we have calculated into this equation, we'll have Computing this, shear flow lowercase q will give us 0.464 kN per millimeter. Hence, we can say that this beam cross section, which is subjected to an internal shear force V of 50 kN, will have a shear flow of 0.464 kN per millimeter at the web flange interface A. We're also asked to calculate the maximum allowable nail spacing S of this beam cross section if each nail has a shear strength of 10 kN. We'll recall the second formula that we stated at the beginning of this example, which is that Q is equal to the shear strength of the nail divided by the nail spacing. And since we're asked to find the nail spacing S, we can make S the subject of the formula. So we will have... And from the question, we're told that the shear strength of each nail is 10 kN. Therefore, F is 10 kN. And we have just calculated Q to be 0.464 kN per millimeter. Computing this, S will give us 21.55 millimeters. And rounding this to the nearest millimeters, S will be 22 millimeters. Hence, we can say that in this beam cross section, which is subjected to an internal shear force V of 50 kN, the maximum nail spacing S will be 22 millimeters if each nail has a shear strength of 10 kN.